This is probably my favorite hawk in my collection. Extra stick for extra death. So today we're gonna have a survival interview with one of my buddies. He's a, you know, pretty good survivalist. He's he's okay. Um, he he goes outside sometimes. So uh, his name's Bob, and we'll have him on the interview later. But until then, we're gonna do some tomahawk tricks. This is my segment, Not How to Die in the Woods, with my good friend Bob Hope. So Bob, what, what do we have going on here? Well today we've got the uh, world's greatest survival gear, uh -huh. all on a vest. Uh -huh. It stays on your body, you can never lose it. Yeah. Unless you lose your body, but so then you're So will dead. you die in the woods with it? That's basically No, you can't die in the woods. Alright, so, Willie approved. So uh, Bob, you mind if I try this thing? Sure, go ahead Willie. Awesome. This vest is actually a... Uh, one size fits all. I might unless, not be able to get over my muscles. Fat, then, I might not be able to get over my muscles. I, I guess it's extra large. I guess it's extra large. Buckles are really secure. Yeah, that's good. I think you can rock You can maybe parachute. Yeah. And actually, there's actually a parachute in the back in case maybe you ever wrestle. find yourself in one of those situations. Ultra light, ultra compact. All right, so here in this pocket, this is to listen to your Dale Earnhardt race updates, so you can really, you know, stay in touch with what's going on in the NASCAR world, even in your mom's backyard. Next object on the agenda of uh, not how to die in the woods with Bob Hope is this pocket lighter fishing rod. It, while you reel in your fish, you can basically like uh, cook them at the same time. Multi-purpose. It's what we really Good try. To, it's what we Good try call. to do in the. How much is one of these retail? About five hundred. Reasonable. So we try to make it for the common man. I uh, I am the common man. Actually, I'm a little bit higher than the common man, but still. Okay, so here we have two metal cans, and these are distress signals. And uh, these are just really handy if you need to throw them at your friend. You know, kill anything. Really, they're good. They're good objects. Next object's on our agenda. How do you check that pocket? Money. Key. If you get lost in the Rockies and you end up in Canada, then you gotta have some dough. They talk big, big bucks up there. Money not included. Money not included. But that's a $300 carrying case. I do you know that. That's Survival.com, that's where they gave me these sweet sungla sunglass necklace. Next object's on the agenda. Nothing there. Socks. Socks are essential in the wild. Explain why, Bob. Because they keep your feet dry, and no one likes walking around with wet feet. That's true. Subject on the agenda. Empty pouch for storage. For collecting wild food and stuff. There you go. More reflectors. You can't have too many reflectors. Too many reflectors. I mean, They're that's essential. step one of survival. I mean, anybody that's had Craig Cadill even agrees. This is actually Craig Cadill approved. This is actually his idea. He sponsors us. So basically, you missed we're it. surviving in a pouch. Yeah. Hey, you missed a pocket. Where? Where, Bob? Right where your hand is. Your other hand. That hand. No, your other hand. It's right at your right, your right breast. That one. Most important thing about this, we weren't telling you. Parachute ripcord. Psych, it's a knife. 
Bob, what can you do with this little puppy right here? You can basically chop down trees, build a log cabin, skin animals, yeah. uh, start a fire. Kill Bigfoot? Well, Bigfoot might kill yes. you first, but yes. that would be yes. Second to last, least important thing, chapstick. What can you do to chapstick, Bob? Well, besides the obvious of keeping your lips from being chapped, it also attracts Bigfoot. Very sure, very sure. Most important thing, paracord bracelet. If you're not a selfish fart, then you'll probably buy one of these because they go to support kids in other countries. Tell us more, Bob. Basically, don't be selfish. Does this support the gospel? Yes, it does.